Aren't we good? What is up, OTF RBA? Welcome to your at-home workout. I am Coach Lauren, the head coach at Orange Theory Fitness in Lothian, and I've got two head coaches with me here as well. We've got head coach Stacy from Short Pump. Hi, Stacy. And we've got head coach Katie from Glenside. So guys, we have an awesome workout for you today. We're gonna start out with a warm up, but you're gonna see total body, literally everything from all the way to the bottom of your body, all the way to the top. So let's start with a side to side toe tap. So I'm gonna go through all these exercises and we'll warm up for five minutes. So for your side to side toe tap, push the glutes back. We're tapping our toe and working back and forth. You're gonna feel this in the legs. You'll feel this in the lower body, getting nice and warm. Your option is to come up taller. I'll remind you guys of the reps as we're going through. For your squat to overhead reach, I'm gonna push the glutes back, reach my arms overhead, trying to keep everything nice long line from head to shoulder to hips. Your option here, reduce the range of motion slightly. Your hip rotation. So we're opening up through the hips here. We're also working on our balance and coordination as well. We'll do five in one direction, then switch. Think about doing circles with your knees. Option, smaller circles. For your static lateral lunge, that simply just means feet are in the ground, push the glutes back. We're bending the knees, coming back and forth. Hands can be at your chest. You'll feel this in your backside, the posterior chain. Option, come up taller. For your jumping jacks, 10 reps just to spike the heart rate. Feet outside the line of your body, arms by your side. Option, get lower so you still feel it in the legs, but we're still moving the arms in that same direction. So we got five minutes, y'all ready? All right, let's start with 20 reps of the side to side toe tap, let's go. So you'll see that block number one today has like all lower body movements. So we're warming it up right now. I'm counting on my fingers, because I'm not good at counting. So with us for the workout today, you got the whole entire head coach crew. We have three Richmond studios. All the head coaches are here for it. When you all switch, I'm gonna switch, okay. All right, next is those 10 squats with the overhead reach. We're gonna use our top anchor, our shoulder girdle a lot. This is a great opportunity to really anchor it and push the shoulders down and back. All right, the hip rotations are next. It's 10 total on each side, but five in one direction, and then five in the other. So if you normally start on the treadmill or on the rower, you've probably never done this warm up. If you're starting on the treadmill on the rower, you're doing the majority of everything, you're warm up on the treadmill, warm up on the rower. So if you start on the floor, you're definitely used to this warm up. If not, we're just switching it up for you. little snippet of the workout. Block number one is all body weight. You do have the option of grabbing onto some weights if you want, or I should say a challenge on an option. But trust me, it burns even with just your body weight. All right, the static lateral lunge, so feet outside the shoulders, push the glutes back, hands at the chest. You should feel this in your inner adductor muscles. And in those hamstrings, the glutes, the calf muscles. Whenever we talk about your posterior chain, that's what we're referring to, like your whole backside. Your adductor muscles are just those inner thigh muscles. And one time, Coach Katie, I don't know if you remember this, but one time you told me that your adductors are like a big old piece of bacon right on your inner thigh. And I'm never gonna forget that. It's a nice big muscle. All right, we got our 10 jumping jacks. If you need an option for anything today, you got Coach Katie on the left. She can show you what that is. She's our option queen today. Guys, I'm not counting at all. Okay. All right, 20 side to side toe taps. Now we got about two minutes left, and we're gonna go right into our first block. First block, a lot of lower body. So get ready for it. 
All right, our squat to overhead reach. You really want to focus on keeping the weight in the heels. So right now, I can wiggle my toes at the bottom of my squat. If you can't wiggle your toes, come up a little bit taller. Take the option that Coach Katie's taking back there. Heads up, guys, at the end of this squat. There is cardio. It's going to be five minutes. We're going to see if we can get some squat points. So mentally prepare for that. Hopefully you guys are wearing your heart rate monitors. You can stream this workout on your laptop, on a computer, and then you can also stream your heart rate on your app. So you can have that right in front of you on your phone. I'm already out of breath, are you guys? I'm super out of breath. Guys, I'm not used to breathing on the mic and working out with you. So if you hear me breathing really heavily, don't judge me. I know. We got like 30 seconds, right Coach Mike? Guys, we have Coach Mike from Glenside. He's our director today. You can't see him right now. We'll be shouting him out throughout the workout. But yeah, I'm breathing really heavily. Whew. I hope no one's counting my reps at home right now. All right, you guys, wrap up the exercise that you're on now. And we are moving on to our first block. So we've got three total blocks today before our flexibility. Our first block is four minutes, and this is one that I was telling you guys is gonna be body weight. And you're really gonna feel it in your lower body. There is core right at the very end. The cool thing about today is everything, literally for the rest of the day, is 10 reps. So I'll keep reminding you guys, but it's 10 reps of everything, really easy to remember. So we're starting out with a body weight squat. Feet, hips to shoulder width apart, hinge at the hips, push the glutes back, and stand back up. Your option is to reduce the range of motion slightly. For your pulsing half squat, cool thing is you don't even have to move your feet. So push the glutes back, find the bottom of your squat, and you're pulsing here up and down. Again, 10 reps, you're gonna feel the burn in the quads, option, come up taller. An iso squat hold to calf raises next. Again, we're not moving the legs, holding the squat, but we're coming up onto the calves. Here, I'll switch so you guys can see me here. So I'm coming up onto my toes, feel it in my calf muscles. Option, take out the squat, just focus on that calf raise so we're really working those muscles. And then your high plank alternating leg lift. So stack shoulders over hips, feet a little bit wider than those shoulders. And we're lifting the heel up towards the ceiling. And we're alternating sides. Your option, drop the knee down and we'll just do five on one side and then switch to five on the other. So Coach Katie, to my left, we'll be doing that. All right guys, so the block is four minutes, 10 reps of everything, let's go ahead and get started. I know. So guys, the challenge would be, if you got a kid at home that's maybe like 20 pounds or less, you can hold your kid while you're doing this. If you have any type of weights, like a water jug or something, you can hold that. But trust me, I'm gonna be sweating by the end of this, doing it with nothing. I definitely recommend counting on your fingers. If you're like me and you can't remember your reps. A good goal is to get about three rounds in these four minutes. So for the pulsing half squat, you're pulsing and you're feeling this in your quads. You also got to engage your core. So if you look me from the side, I'm pulling my belly button in towards my spine. I'm gonna stop when you guys stop. <laughs> Bringing the shoulders down and back too. So for the iso squat, this one definitely burns, but you should feel it in your calf muscles too. Fun fact, you have two calf muscles, your gastroc, your soleus, and I'm freaking feeling them in both muscles right now. All right, our high plank alternating leg lift, hands underneath the shoulders, feet wide. 10 reps for lifting the heel up, Let's take this one nice, slow, and controlled. Remember your option, Coach Katie's got it back there. One knee on the ground. All right, y'all, one round down. We're back to our body weight spots, 10 of them. 
I love working the lower body muscles, because they're definitely the bigger muscles in the body. Bigger muscles mean you're gonna burn more calories. Hey guys, good news, we are exactly halfway right now, so you got two minutes left. So I'm taking a look at the OTB right now. We got Coach Stacy and Coach Katie wearing heart rate monitors, and they're both green right now. You might get into the orange zone in this, these four, these four minutes. Definitely get my heart rate up. How y'all doing back there? Woo! Definitely helps if you have a focal point for this one. Just kind of keeping the eyes looking straight forward. All right, back to our core. I like fighting gravity on the way down here. I really make sure that I'm using all of my abdominal muscles, especially those obliques on the side. Totally normal to also feel this in the shoulders though. Less than a minute, you guys. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can get through the next 30 reps in 45 seconds. So if you speed up a little bit, kind of like I'm doing now, you might get into that 84% or higher. So far we got Coach Katie got into that 84% or higher. Katie, air high five, killed it. Exercises. Your personal goal is going to be to get about four rounds. We'll see how many we get here. We're starting out with a swing lunge. So try to find two weights. I recommend something about medium to medium to lightweight. Maybe if you have paint cans laying around your house, water bottle, something that you can hold. But we've got a swing lunge. Remember, everything is 10 reps. So super easy to remember. So nice big lunge forward. Drop your shoulders. We're not going to pause in the middle. We're just going right back to that other lunge here. Your option, Coach Katie will be doing it, is pausing in the middle. We go right into everyone's favorite, the full burpee. I know a lot of um, OTF Midlow 5, 6 hammers. Nicole Carter loves the burpee. We're seeing it here for 10 reps. So stand tall, hands underneath shoulders, jump the feet back. You've got a push up, feet back underneath the hips, and then a nice big jump at the top. There's so many options for this one. The one that we're going to use is stepping back, drop to the knees for the push up. Step back up, and we still want to work the calf, so take out the explosive movement, come up into a calf raise. You're playing Spider-Man, we've seen the starting position before, the high plank position, feet wide, but the same side knee is coming up towards that same side elbow. Your option here would be knee in towards your chest instead. Our last exercise is a crunch. Feel free to grab a weight, maybe one of those weights that you're using for that swing lunge at medium to heavy, medium to light weight. So feet on the ground, you're gonna lean back and you're coming up using your lower abdominal muscles here. Let's see how slow we can come down. So we're really using our abdominal muscles. Your option here is no weight and just slightly reducing that range of motion. So we've got 12 minutes. Let's get started with that swing lunge. Guys, I'm breathing pretty heavily right now. Okay, swing lunge for 10 total. So it's five on each side. You guys notice how I can still see my front toe here when I'm lunging? If you can, make that lunge a little bit bigger. That's how you protect that knee. So five on one side, we switch. For 10 total, five on the other. I don't know if I said this, guys, but there and back is one rep. All right, y'all, the full burpee. We got 10 of 
Guys, we're halfway. All right, core work, crunch. I'm gonna take the option to not use weight here, but focus on fighting gravity on the way down. My hands are still at my chest. If there was 
drop down to my knees, take that option just because I feel that fatigue in my shoulders, and I want to keep that good form. Guys, you got 20 seconds. Keep moving. Just like class, we want to work all the way to the end of the block. Now we have 10 seconds. I'm just going to knock out a couple more burpees instead of moving on. One more. How you guys feeling? Good. Perfect. Okay. So guys, two blocks down, we worked on lower body in that first block. That four minute block, it was short, but it burned. We just did a little bit of everything in that 12 minute block. We're gonna end with cardio. So it's five minutes, the number one goal is to get that heart rate up. Let's see if we can get to that 84% or higher for as long as we can. A good goal is maybe two to three spot points during these five minutes. So for your cardio block, five minutes, we're gonna work for 30 seconds. We're gonna rest for 30 seconds. So I want you to think about the space that you're in right now. You might not have a lot. You might be inside. So you might just have this area right around you in your living room. So you could do a jump squat for 30 seconds. I think Coach Katie Baffair is doing a squat jack. You could do that, you could do a burpee, anything that you want that spikes the heart rate. If you have a lot of room around you, let's say you have stairs in your house. You could run up and down the stairs for 30 seconds. You could rest for 30 seconds. If you're outside, you can run whatever it is, chasing your kids around, just get your heart rate up. Y'all ready? All right, I'm gonna do jump squats. Coach Katie's doing squat jacks. Coach Stacey, what are you doing? She's gonna do jumping jacks. So awesome exercises to spike that heart rate. All right, we'll wait for Coach Mike to do my timer. <laughs> All right, let's do it in three, two, one. 30 seconds, let's go. You can also count your reps. I got them on my hands. Set a little mini goal, a mini, mini challenge. Try to beat that next time. 10 seconds. Stay still count next time. How did you get count? All right, we're all gonna count together next time. Guys, we got 15 seconds, just like in class. If you need to take an oxygen, hand on your head, open up the airway. Wipe the sweat out of your face. Did your heart rate get up? If not, get more reps. Three, two, one, go. I'm gonna get it higher here. So you're gonna hurry up.
15 seconds, guys, and one more round. I challenge you to match your top number for me to get one more. I'm gonna go for 26. Three, two, one, and go. Focus on something. I heard that your finger on your nose kind of helps. Doesn't really help me. A lot of quads today in that ISO squat hold. And we're doing that calf raise. For me right now, jump squats, holy quads, they're blown up. Switch side, you guys. Guys, thank you so much for coming on this journey with us. We're having so much fun filming these workouts for you guys. And we're hoping that we can all stay connected this way. We'll definitely be back in the studio together before we know it. But for right now, doing, going through these exercises with us definitely keeps us closer together. All right, let's hit that runner's lunge. So drop the back knee down, front foot forward. We're going to squeeze that back glute. So we're kind of pushing our hips so that they're in line with each other. You should feel this in this front compartment here called your hip flexor. It's also called your psoas muscle, you can call it either. A lot of people complain about having lower back pain, and nine out of 10 times, it's not derived from your lower back, it's actually your hip flexor. This muscle connects to your spine, your lumbar spine, your lower back, switch sides. So if you're ever like, oh my gosh, my lower back is so tight, I've been sitting on the couch during this quarantine, knock on this stretch. All right, guys, if you have time, please continue stretching. Your body probably needs it. Everyone's body feels different. Guys, thank you so much for having us. Coach Katie, Coach Stacy. we love working out with you guys. Have a great workout. Post your summaries. Thank you for joining us.